Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and for today's video, we are talking about The Lie. The Lie is a 2018 thriller horror film that focuses on the parents of a teenage girl, Kayla, played by Joey King, who are forced to come together to protect their daughter after she murders her friend in what she claims is an accident. Now I watched this on Amazon. It is listed under their horror section. Now Google lists this as a thriller and while it is a bit of a slow burn, slow paced film, it definitely does not hold back when it comes to those darker bits and I definitely think the ending is worth the wait. So like I said, this film stars Joey King, who some of you will know from the act as well as the Kissing Booth series on Netflix. She plays 15 year old Kayla, who is on her way to dance camp being driven by her father when they spot her best friend Brittany along the side of the road waiting for a bus. They pick her up and some events unfold that lead to Britney's death and Kayla claims that it is an accident. Now the film does mostly focus on her parents and their attempts to protect her to cover up what she has done. While they really question her actions, they're, you, you can tell at times that they're not sure if what happened was an accident or if she meant for it to happen and they really struggled with that in their own relationship and I liked that. I liked the fact that this was a story that was mostly focused on the parents and not so much on Kayla, though they do dive into the psyche of being a teenage girl uh, and going through some things. As you saw from the title, I am going to be talking about spoilers. So I want to get into some of the details of the film, especially so that we can talk about this ending. So forewarning. Now, like I said, this film really does focus mainly on the parents and their relationship and their relationship with their daughter, which I really liked. Throughout this film, you watch these people who are already currently struggling with the state of their personal relationship as they are divorced. They're struggling with the fact that they've not only made this decision to protect their daughter, but not being 100% sure whether or not she is innocent, whether or not they believe that what happened was an accident. And as events start to unfold throughout the film, they become more and more skeptical of their daughter, of what their daughter was telling them, and whether or not this was an intentional murder. And it causes them to make some pretty bad decisions on their end as well. I'm not gonna completely ruin everything because if you haven't seen this film, I think you should check it out. I don't wanna spoil completely everything, but I do really wanna talk about this ending. So after some pretty horrific events, continue to unfold. Like I said, they're Kayla's parents making some bad decisions on their end. We end up finding out that all of this was planned by these two girls while the parents are working to cover up some of the things that they've done in an attempt to protect their daughter. This Brittany girl re-emerges. She just pops up. Um, and is pretty surprised at how surprised they are. Uh, she tells them that she thought Kayla would have told them by now that this was all just made up. It was her attempt to kind of get away from her father. She wanted to go see her boyfriend. So her and Kayla made up this whole scenario that Kayla murdered her, uh, which is just mind-boggling and such a shock moment. I really was not expecting that. Um, I kind of, you know, I mean you do kind of expect there to be a twist in films nowadays, but that was not something that I was expecting. I was very thrown off by that and it just, with everything that happens throughout this film, you're just like, why? But as someone who was once a teenage girl, I kind of get it, 
like, I never did anything that dramatic, but I do see where these teenage girls were coming from, um, in their, you know, in their making up of this lie. Because when you're young and you're a teenager, your friends can talk you into doing stupid stuff and sometimes something that you think could be a good idea can turn out to be a very, very bad idea. But I loved that. I loved that ending. I Again, I was so surprised by it. It was such a twist, such a shock ending. You really think the title of this film is a lie. You really think the whole lie is Kayla and she's lying about this murder being an accident but then you come to find out that the real lie is the murder accident itself that none of that actually took place which just again left me in complete and total shock and leaves you with kind of like a cliffhanger ending a little bit. Uh, I. This is one of those films where you're just like, okay, but what happens now? Like, what happens to these teenagers? What happens to these parents? You just want to follow up, but of course, not going to get that. That is why I say that the ending of this film is definitely worth floating through the rest of it. So hopefully, if you're still watching this, you have already seen it, or you just really don't care that I spoiled it for you. If you haven't seen it, Highly, highly suggest checking it out. Like I said, I watched it on Amazon. Uh, so if you have an Amazon Prime account, it is available to watch on there. It may be available to watch other places uh, where you would have to rent it, but I'm not sure. So if you have seen The Lie, let me know what your thoughts are on it in the comments below. If you did enjoy this, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more horror related content. For go, a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to contribute to the channel. If you know the perks to being a Patreon, links are in the description below along with all of my social media. And I'll see you guys again later with another video. Bye!